Incursion. Fight your way through waves of minions and defeat the enemy's sentries. Escort minions to enemy sentries to strip away their shields and leave them vulnerable to attack. Destroy the enemy's final sentry to achieve victory. Bay doors opening in three, two, one. Begin. We are minion fabrication initialized. Get ready. Friendly minions deployed. Doing this the hard way. Guide minions to the center. Mercenary camp. 
Raw mercenaries deployed. <laughs> Mercenaries moving out. <laughs> Shepherd minions to the enemy sentry to help disable its shields. <clears throat> Hostile thrall mercenaries coming this way. Come for 
the date, but I'm not about it. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 
Not me, stab them, not me, stab them, not me! Oh, victory through discipline! Graceful, are you? Someone mapping these? Holy crap, nah, we don't need to map them. Oh, that's great. You have been chosen! Our minions require assistance at an enemy center. Can you take care of this? We're all mercenaries. Spotted 
on the battlefield.
Okay. Is that on? Yes, it is. Yo! I'm on voice chat. What's up, everybody? Last night, where there were no games and I was on, people are playing tonight, thank goodness. So, let's get a little stream going. Let's get a little stream going. Played a couple matches earlier. We were dominating the other team. They had some newer players on their side. Um, let's see, what are we going to do this round? I was at Galileo last time. Hmm. I really could go with Atticus again. He was just a joy. It beat the shit out of people. Let's just beat the shit out of people as Atticus. <laughs> I mean, uh, why not, huh? Yeah, why not? Atticus as well. <laughs> Ooh, Mike, uh, Kelvin, Galley. That Atticus is going to be invincible. We have no healers. They have a lot of support with that stupid Mike. It's going to be interesting. Uh, it's going to be interesting, folks. Yes, it is. Yeah, that guy's a 142. All right. I mean, it's 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 Oscar Mike. You know. He's a top five character in the game, easily. All right. Meltdown. Earn points by guiding your minions to designated incinerators and destroy enemy minions before they reach their own. The bigger the minion, the more points you'll earn by sacrificing it. The first team to reach the score limit will trigger the finale and gain an advantage based on the size of their lead. The other guys will be killed! <laughs> They have the healer and I don't, so... Well, there we go. Let's see if I can... Uh, Galilea looks like she might be overwhelmed. Hi, that looks painful. You're absolutely right. Oh, my I should have activated the uh, arc first. Well, oh, there we go. Thank you. 
Uh, I like to do the shield recharge. That's, uh... Because when Atticus is, uh, vulnerable, he's vulnerable. So you gotta get the hell out of there. Alright, let's get to some shards. I really need them. I really need some gear. So I can stay out there and, uh... Front line a little bit more. We have, we have no support on our team, so... I'm gonna be a big meat bag. They're gonna try and tenderize me. Alright. Oh, I could steal the other shards. Why not? Since I'm already here, let's go. Why not? Alright, I'm gonna do both survivability pieces. I always go with uh, defense gear first, guys, if you're ever on a build. Uh, offense can come with your leveling later. But you need that health and you need to be in lane and not die early on, so... Defense for the win. They're all over here, what the hell? Oh, goodness gracious. Couldn't fucking hit the guy. He's like teleporting. He's a... You know... Te teleporting Atticus. It sounds like a lot of fun. Hopefully reconnect. Maybe that was a server issue. Enemy forces uh, uh, given it a score, it's probably not. Ah, oh, man. I've actually been playing with this same group for like eight matches in a row now. Um, given the matchmaking is actually working tonight, uh, I thought it'd be fun to stream. No! That's too bad. Oh, by the time I get to the other side of the map, everyone's already on them. What? Boo! Boo, gearbox, the, the uh, geometry stuck on my foot. Blocked my uh, pounce there. Destroy them all! Oh, here comes the uh, the Kelvin. Is that covered in bees, this character? Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. Pro play by the... Pro play by the Atticus CPU! Get me the fuck out of here! Fucking Atticus! <laughs> this is kind of like a match where I can't... I can't get to the... 
the parts of the field fast enough. There, everyone's already killing them by the time I get there. A like slow ass. <laughs> can't, can't get to the side of the map. I still don't think movement gear is that good. I, I, I'd rather start defense than movement. Always. Especially on Meltdown. I mean, my goodness, Meltdown is... Heavy lane traffic, you know... More direct combat scenarios, so you want that defense. Yeah, that's just my opinion. Of course, you... If you're really going try hard, you go for a shard generator and use pendles. <laughs> Actually, while I'm uh, here, I'm going to see if I can look at the stream as well. One moment. So, I got the YouTube chat open. If anyone has any comments, I can read them in between matches. Actually, let me turn off the sound here. Uh, yeah, okay. group has been on, we've been on fire we've been I think we've won every match tonight uh, this group of course you got drag uh, drago drag yeah you got uh, you missed and the other two are uh, I don't actually r recognize their names but they've been doing just fine they've been doing great so can't complain there I think we'll go back to Shane and Oryx. I haven't used Shane and Oryx tonight at all. This is like my like se sixth or seventh match tonight. I was using I used Galt one match and uh, I broke even on my KD, but uh, I, I haven't used Galt in like a year. So <laughs> plus there was a Kelvin and a Montana on the enemy team, so. Uh, I got I got dashed and stunned a decent amount in that in that game. But they were too aggressive. They were too aggressive and we were able to pick them off more often than not, so it was good. Wonder if we'll get any good players on uh, the next match. Let's see if we can get a match. That'll be good. It really annoys me that the uh, the deluxe edition cuts off Atticus's face. <laughs> they never they never fixed that. Where where's my buddy's eyes? Come on, show me Atticus's face. That glorious mug of his. <laughs> thick neck, thick. <laughs> it's a uh, it's an interesting uh, character design. When you talk about top heavy, that's uh, that's Atticus for you. <laughs> My man needs to lay off the uh, growth hormone. <laughs>
Come on, Battleborn Gods. I know there are people online. I've been playing all evening, so it can't be over now. I want to get a couple more stream matches in. Let's go. Let's go. Please. in the world online. Oh, there goes the police car. Yep. Uh, police and everything, it's just been a, it's been kind of a, another rough incident in the world. It, 2020 has been a, it's like you've been getting punched in the face 10 rounds of boxing type of year. You're the one getting punched, though. You know, <laughs> it's like blow for blow for blow for blow for blow. Things happen in this year and 40 million jobless. I mean, the fact that that infrastructure wasn't available, that we had no way to move people to digital jobs is very unfortunate because we're in the 21st century. We're well into the 21st century and we don't have that in place. It's kind of shocking. Like, social distancing aside, you know, there are jobs that can be done online to help manage things like data, information, strategy, and organization. And that can all be done online. It doesn't require that someone has to be in a building to do it. Um, it does take a toll and uh, it does quote unquote hinder performance, but you know, you know, a good portion of those jobless numbers are because the companies just laid people off. It wasn't because they couldn't find something beneficial to do for the company. It's because the company said, you're done. We're not going to pay for your salary. You're, you are, a you're an opportunity to cut costs. So that's really where the jobless number comes in more than anything, guys. And it's a shame because I feel like there could be infrastructure somehow, some way to keep people getting at least, a, even if it's not a full paycheck, something from the company. And that would have been a nice thing to do. But that's my rant over on that. That's my rant over. No! That's, that's a shame. I hope we get a match. I don't want to leave just because he someone left. I want to give it a chance because we have a great team here. Oh, only two people are actually in the game. Uh, and one of them was on our team. <laughs> oh, so there's another uh, incursion match going on. Okay, so there is... At the very least, there's enough that... There's a second match going on right now, so... We have a chance. Um, we have a chance. Well, I hope that that's not it. I wanted to get more matches for a stream. <laughs> no. <sighs> we were on a we were on a roll. I mean, it's only six o'clock Pacific time, where a lot of people are in the Pacific region. I hope people aren't uh, being too affected by any uh, protest incidents and everyone staying safe. I mean, COVID aside, well, COVID is another problem, but, you know, events like this are exactly contradictory to what keeps you safe and 
social distancing. So, really, please be safe out there. Don't don't break that protocol. Even if you cannot hold back protest, please don't you know abuse that privilege to go out and mingle with people. It's very that's the whole point of this this uh, lockdown phase. Uh, it's to get to a point of normalcy again, but it requires patience and it requires a group effort. That's all there is to it. So just never forget that. And I'm just saying that because where I'm located, there are plenty of protests going on, people out in the streets, helicopters flying overhead every day. Um, and it's just a, it's like a regular thing this week. And it's really, it's, it's a little unnerving. It's a little bit, it's a little bit, uh, and there has been some, uh, destruction. It's not as bad as other places, but there were some cars burned down. There were some windows broken, stores broken into, um, so... And that's also not a good idea, folks. You shouldn't be destroying people's livelihoods to make a statement. You should be making a statement. And that's, uh, I mean, the statement that people are making is that to hell with any sort of order, let's cause anarchy. And that's really a bad idea because it escalates the military involvement, which is actually going to start happening in parts of the country. You know, breaking windows and, and looting stores is the quickest way to escalate the problem. And some people want that, but it's very directed at the people in charge, directed at the, the politicians, and directed at the bureaucracy. The store owners, they have no involvement with any of this. None whatsoever. In fact, I bet there are store owners who are joining the protest. I heard a story about someone who was. Um, was it in California? No, maybe... I forget where it was, but like... These people have livelihoods and jobs, and they, for all you know, you could have broken into the window and stolen from an activist in your own cause. Did you think about that? I mean... It's just like, wow, guys. It was such a terrible incident, and... You know, the ultimate justice needs to be delivered to those involved but that's it you know those involved and then you know store owners and innocent people should not be harmed because of it right deliver the ultimate justice to those involved you know who exactly who it is <laughs> my thinking was get the get the in, those involved put them into the bring them to the desert leave them in the middle and give them one canteen of water and just say, hey, make it as far as you can. Like, that's a pretty good punishment, you know? <laughs> Alright, enough politics. Politics is, is awful. That's enough. It's just been on my mind a lot. Because it's like in all the national discourse. And in my hometown, there's a lot of protests going on. So I hear about it all the freaking time. Anyway, um, 9.04 uh, Eastern Time. I am checking on when I will have to call it quits. Come on, we were on a roll! Can't just do two matches for you guys, that's not, that's not enough. Uh. Is that really the, are there fewer than 20 people playing right now? That is sad. God damn. <laughs> My goodness. So I went to the Battleborn Reddit and I posted a very controversial topic. I, I posted an incursion tier list and uh, I got chewed up for it. But, uh, you know, I looked at it. I made a couple of edits after I had posted it because, guys, tier list in this game is so freaking hard. It's so... Hard. I mean, there are a couple characters that are real standouts, like really, really good or really, really bad. But there are some characters who are just like amazing in Incursion. 
And my top tier goes like this. It goes Benedict, Thorn, Alani, and, um, wait, hang on, Montana. But then, like, the next tier below that is, like, a fraction lower. And we're talking very, very small differences. Not like these tiers are completely, you know, miles apart. They're very small differences because this game is really more about the overall team versus the individual characters. But the individual characters do make the team. So um, there's that to think about as well, which is also part of the tier list. I feel like those four characters can always be picked on every incursion map and on any type of comp. They're going to be absolutely incredible um, for what they do. And they like offer a lot of uh, team synergy and strategy options. Alani herself is a crowd control monster. And she's hard to kill because of her, her self-healing. And a good Alani will geyser herself to safety all the time. Like, she's no, she's no joke, guys. Um, is, she the, is she a damage dealer? No, but she's incredible on utility. So, And um, slowing down the entire minion wave with her with her wave. I mean, it's like, wow, she, she has a lot of utility. Um, the tier below that was um, Kelvin. Uh, Mike, who everyone, yeah, people are like, Mike's the best character in the game. Well, Mike is the best offense, but he has no crowd control. So is that really the best thing? Because crowd control is the most important thing in this game. Survivability and offense are probably following crowd control. Crowd control wins games in this game. A absolutely. Crowd control. I don't care what anyone says. Crowd control is how you actually play Incursion. Because even the tankiest character, uh, Montana with ult, with proper crowd control, you can kill that character. A Lonnie Geyser, a Galt Hook, uh, you know, uh, whatever. You, these are the types of skills that dominate this mode. Thank goodness that we have a match. We're going to play Shane and Aurox. Uh, we're, bringing out the, we're bringing out the duo because this could be the last match if things don't go well. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, hey, uh, Mega. Are you talking about Mike? I get, yeah, I, I, I agree, but I, I feel like, uh, in terms of, you know, outside of Ultimate, which really breaks the character a lot and his basic attacks, Grenade is decent, but I feel like Grenade is not the best utility skill in the game, you know? I feel like uh, Thorn has a better a right trigger than than Mike does. Um, oh shit! I'm, I gotta pick the right class. Uh, so uh, that that that's where I think about the this tier list that I wrote up, and it's again we're talking finite differences. These characters are all incredible if you know what you're doing. Like Shane and Orox, I put as a perfectly middle of the road character, and people thought I was underrating her, but she's huge. And, like, Boulder, Galt, and Montana are real problems with Shane and Orox, to me at least. Um, I've, had, I've had games where I had to play really safe because there was a Galt. And I couldn't be aggressive like I want to be because that Galt is there. So, you use the Witch. Oh, Randy? Arendi is in the same tier as Mike on my list, and she is um, just way too good at area damage, and that really helps so much confirming minion clear. Minion clear is so important in this game, and people overlook it all the time. Whoa, no, 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 we have a problem with the server. Oh, thank Incursion. God. 
Fight your way through waves of minions and defeat the Yeah, Rendy's a B. She's hard to hit. She's small. Has an escape option. She has a blind or she can even reveal people. And she has um, an incredible AoE capacity. She's incredible. Got him. Here they come. Yep. That Kelvin unfortunately did not know how to play Kelvin there. That was a bad idea. You don't want to deviate alone with Kelvin like that. Knocked him away. Oh, I gotta run away. I got to run away. I need my healing items. Get my shield up. Galway, get in the middle. Start killing those minions. Oh my god, I need I need my gear for goodness sakes. Contract signed. Draw mercenaries moving out. Our foes have moved on a small mercenary camp. We have no healer. Oh shit, we have no healer. Oh no. Oh wow, okay. Uh yeah. That's why I like I haven't had health this whole freaking round. Oh man. God! Uh, there we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh,
unfortunately that's a scrub Kelvin. Exactly. Do 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 do. Mike, 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 Mike. <laughs> okay. No healer. It's so annoying. That's the worst when you don't have a healer. I gotta play like this. You know, half health, conservative. Cannot rush in. Oh wow. There's so much lag right there. Wow, the frame rate's like terrible. Whoa. Yeah, I read up that the server like has problems and they're just not fixing it. I mean, they're not putting any money into this game. But uh, that kind of sucks. Here comes a big wave, but we have no healer, so we can't front line very well. Nobody wants to get thralls. Right. That was my whole point, guys. I want to get these thralls because we need the pushing power. Oh, he didn't fucking... to build this because there's no healer on our team. Alright, very good. Oh my god, we're not going to get the fucking sentry down! Whew! Okay, we got on the board at least. <laughs> Scare the shit out of that mic. He's like, oh my god. Our foes 
have moved on the Thrall mercenary camp. Our enemies are attacking the mercenary camp. Hostile Thrall mercenaries coming this way. Thrall mercenaries spotted on the battlefield. Enemy sentry destroyed. All right, here we go. <laughs> he wanted to kill me so bad. <laughs> <laughs> An ally hired some thrall mercenaries. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Oh, yeah, Marquis with the back door. There you go. Because uh, we needed it. <laughs> nah, this game's this game's done. They, they have a feeder, Kelvin. Unfortunately, that's too bad. I know the pain all too well about feeders. Oh, and six Kelvin trying to use a legendary. Yep, it's unfortunate. Let's get those minions over there and wrap up this game a little bit faster. Uh, does that sound? All right, and that one's maxed out, and we're gonna do this because why not? get those quad assist I will take it quad assist I only have a handful of those I think because again I don't I don't go for multis, I don't use multi cheese characters either. I mean Shane is like my main character, so looks like someone needs a sidekick. <laughs> Unfortunately, Peter Kelvin. I got feedback on MSync for taunting me. <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. Poor other team. Poor Feeder. That happens all the time. I've only had like two or three matches save in total. Now let's see if we can get uh, another match in, perhaps. Hmm.
<laughs> ah. Also on my tier list, my lowest tier characters in Incursion are um, Whiskey, Kid Ultra, and Cleese. Now, I know there are exceptions to the rule. There are some incredible players of all three characters. But I feel like on a base level, those three characters don't offer enough compared to some of the higher tiers on, you know, multi-comps where you have ranged or melee focuses, like, I just... Whiskey has the worst primary ranged attack, arguably. Uh, his ultimate's kinda uh. His crowd control is also uh. It's, it works, but it's like... And he has no great mobility options, except for his, you know, frickin' scatter gun, whatever the hell that thing does. But, like, ah, uh, I don't... He just can't do enough for lane, I think, and he's not able to hold the hold the line well enough. Whereas Mike can have the fucking space lasers and everything else, so... You know? Um... Hmm... Let's go with the Feebles. Again, uh... I can't believe we have matches tonight. This is really exciting. Yesterday it was completely dead, like there was nothing. Uh, I tried for an hour on and off and no matches, not one match, so. Marquis and Beatrix, we need a healer this time, guys. I can't go, I can't frontline without a healer, please. I'm gonna be, oh, fuck. Dude, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. If he's not gonna go, Oh no! Well, this is gonna be rough. It's not a healer. Oh, thank God! <laughs> oh, is it a random pick? Oh, what? Did this guy leave? Is he just trolling? I'm trolling. Also, I put Phoebe in um, mid-high tier. Uh, some people think Phoebe's not that good. I'm like, what? Have you played Phoebe? Like, if you main Phoebe, like she's one of my secondaries, basically maining the character. Fight your way if you play her minions, with a lot of blue skills, she's sentence. incredible. I mean, just use defense with her, and she's god tier. To enemy in offense, to away their she's amazing. And leave them a, a great to ult. She has defense buffing. She has Destroyed incredible single sentry. target and sentry capabilities. I mean, wow. What else do you want? And a ranged option that's the not bad either. So, you know, three, she's, two, she's one, great. Go. Minion Manufactory is initialized. Prepare for assault. Prepare for assault. Of has lots been and deployed. lots of them. I'm gonna go disrupt them a little bit and just, uh, I'm gonna go for the minions actually. Hey. 
is a little trick I like to do. I'm not oh no, it didn't fucking go up! No! No! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I thought I had enough range there and it didn't work. And we have a lot an opponent who's left. That's always fun. So this match won't be as good as I wanted it to be, but oh well. <laughs> ah! I used my Battleborn intuition there. I was like, which direction is he going to jump down? I was watching the mini-map, and I'm like, he's probably going to land near the railing. And he did. Yep. That comes with time and experience, folks. Like all games, you'll kind of get a rhythm for how people play the game and what decisions they'll make. Are engaged with mercenaries. Oh! He dodged all the fucking knives. The blade, get the fuck out of here. Enemy forces are crushing our minions. Escort them to their objectives. Friendly thralls on the field. Our enemies are attacking a mercenary. All right, we're going to go for th uh, minions here. No. Okay. I wield science itself and swords. I mostly use the swords. <clears throat> Our foes have moved on a Thrall mercenary camp. Thrall mercenaries spotted on the battlefield. Well, I would like to get those as well. Oh my god, geometry, work for me. Thank you. Our enemies are attacking a mercenary camp. Enemies 
Okay. Yeah, payback, huh? Huh? <laughs> payback for earlier. Thanks. He's down there. They actually have a pretty busted up team. It's really good. Um, I was going to... Um, Oh, look at that. They rejoined. Good. Um, I was going to go up the long way, but I said, fuck it. I really don't care. Now they're now we're back to a real match. We have uh, 5v5. All right. Now I got to play for real. I need my defense um, skill. Jeez, jeez. Oh, look who's trying to chase me. Little Melka. <laughs> Little Melka cheese. <laughs> Good shit. Damn, man, I really need my... I need my gosh darn level 5. Ah! It really helps the character a lot when you get level 5. Because that defense, 30% damage reduction, oh. It's a beautiful thing. Allies are attacking a thrall mercenary camp. Oh, good. I think I'll have enough. Uh, I have enough shards, so I'm like, here is equipped. I wasn't risking it. I wasn't risking it. I'm still not. <laughs> he knows better. He knows better. Enemy <laughs> 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 
He fell for it! He fell for it! He fell for it! I needed a sentry, but that was the whole point of that. I don't know why everyone's running because they're scared. <laughs> We've been on fire with this team. Level five. Yep, 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 okay. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. <laughs> this team, we're just on, we're just on fire. We, these are some great players on our team, and, uh, and it's just a lot of fun. And that, they were down a player, uh, but he, the player wasn't that great, so, I mean, it happens, I've, I'm just glad I'm getting some matches for you guys. This is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Let's see if we can get one more. I'd love to get one more for you guys. That Melka had no idea that I was already there. You saw that called an overextension and uh, the Melka was too far out when she used her escape option which is why I was able to actually use my warp and the reason why I use speed boost on phase, gate, phase cast because uh, that's exactly why but really the, the main reason I use left on level 1 is because to get away from shit because Phoebe can't I don't care, the silence is, uh, uh, it's great, okay? But it's also kind of gimmicky. The speed is so much more useful to staying alive because Phoebe's gonna have to rush out of shit. Like, that's her, her main design is getting in and getting out really fast. So, and if you have those openings, you can also chase people down really fast. Um, that's why left side Phoebe is amazing. I, I use a couple of DPS on the right, but a, a lot of left. Mostly defense on Phoebe, and it's it's really good that way. Um, that's also why when people argue about tier lists, I'm like, well, how do you build the character? And do you <laughs> consider the different styles of build? I mean, there are a lot of consensus about what the best builds are for incursion on characters, but that still means that <laughs> when you're making character level tier lists, you gotta consider all the possible variations, like maybe one skill's different in someone's build than another, it's like, whatever. I mean, it's all generalities, right? Phoebe to me is a, a, a B plus character if A plus were the highest tier. Like, A plus A, B plus B, C plus C. I think Phoebe's a B plus character, maybe even an A minus in the right hands. Um, that's my opinion. I can have an opinion. Everyone has one, and that's the best part about it. But I think I think most people agree that Benedict is top tier. <laughs> He's so fucking broken, man. Good Benedict is literally God tier. 
And if you've never seen Good Benedict play, it's just like rockets continually locking onto people and killing them. And then the ultimate comes out like two minutes into the match. You're like, what? There's an ultimate already flying around the map? Yeah, that's Benedict. Meanwhile, he's killing minions and killing players. Arguably better than any character. <laughs> it's unreal. He's so powerful. And then he has one of the best escape options in the game. <laughs> it's like, what? His only downside is low health. But that's... You know, that's why he flies. He flies away from danger and shit. No, Benedict is, is incredible. <sighs> and I call I, I call Montana the best tank in the game um, for incursion. Even though a lot of people may argue that Kelvin's better, I think that Montana has more range versatility, especially against Sentry, which is why he's the best tank in the game. That's my opinion. Ooh. Ido, sweaty player, kill Anna. Ooh. Uh, okay, then. This one might be a little sweaty. Let's find out. Okay. We're gonna go shell rocks, and that's how it's gonna be. Oh, I I have enough coins for a Magnus opening to finish the damn stream after this match. Awesome. 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 <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got here. All right, it's on. Sweaty player one, Anna and Ido, and Pendles. I know Pendle Snake as well. Um. <clears throat> and those, uh, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So they have one low tier player. These guys have been holding their own, but we haven't really been getting he- Ah! No healer! Again with the fucking Beatrix. Yo, please go healer. No! I want a healer! Uh it's gonna hurt. Ooh, they have a Montana and a Gaul and an Alani. Oh, and a Thorn. Oh, my insides. <laughs> oh, oh man, this is gonna be brutal. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get demolished by that damage. Oh, Montana and Thorn damage with Wrath running up my ass and Galt trying to hook me. This is gonna suck. All right. <laughs> Let's see, who's... Oh, no. So... Uh... I don't know, guys. We may have just met our match here. Th their comp is so much better. Um... Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Incursion. Fight your way through waves of minions. I'm gonna try. Defeat the enemy's sentries. Escort minions to enemy sentries. I don't know about this. Away their shields and leave them vulnerable Not enough crowd. We don't have enough crowd control on this team. Destroy the enemy's final sentry to achieve victory. Nah, I think we've met our match, guys. Thorn, Arendi, and... Nah, 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 man. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. But I think it's over. It was a fun. It was a great night, though. We we had a bazillion wins tonight. Friendly minions deployed.
a bazillion wins. This comp does not convince me whatsoever. Not enough crowd control, and the golf's gonna destroy us. I tried with the stealth hook, and it didn't work. Yep, he's dead. It's over! Galt scares the shit out of me with their comp. It's really rough. I'm just playing. Whoa! They're back doing already? Are they sniping? Wow! Yo! DPS actually working? I'm shocked. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's not butter. I gotta be very cautious when Galt comes back though. I'm not gonna overcommit because if I get fucking... If I get pulled by Galt, I could be in street. Wow! I'm actually shocked. Raw mercenary camp engaged. There's golf. It's not even close to over yet, though, guys. Yep, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> Boom, okay, yo, I gotta say, this Beatrix is really on point. And even a lower tier character like Beatrix in the right hands can be very, oh. Wow, I am shocked right now. Our foes have moved on the small mercenary camp. Wow. 
Wow. This team. This team is on fire. I'm annoyed that that uh, Wrath wasn't killed. Oh and four Montana for us. That's a little scary. They don't even have their gear yet though. Okay. Sticky is uh doing well. One and eight or one and oh with eight. Eight assists with Beatrix, excellent. Excellent work. Gotta say, I'm very impressed by this guy's be uh, Beatrix. We've engaged a small mercenary. Allies are attacking a small mercenary. Okay, okay, just stay alive. But Rendy died. Friendly mercenaries moving out. Get that thrall out there a little faster. Okay. We have no rush. Everyone should be everyone should be holding steady. We don't have to rush. Right now, that's not necessary. Let's just stay alive. Regroup. We have a thrall coming. All right. I fucking missed. I'm ashamed of myself right now. God damn, man. Contract signed. Thrall mercenaries moving out. 
You'll find it's quite odorless. Oh my gosh, dude! Oh my gosh! Let's grind our enemies into bone, or whatever. Because we have no great healer. Where's the Alani? Not sure. Alani has not really been healing much, which is annoying, but it is what it is. Wait, Fatbot's already out over there. All right, I'm gonna boost the speed a little bit more. No, we have no healer. I forgot, yeah, we have no healer. We go. I think we got it. Ones 
The team could not get the job done, which is annoying. They're pushing back now. Mm, makes the game a little more interesting, that's for sure, because we have no healer! Which is exactly why I wanted a healer. You gotta have a healer, guys. Especially in late game, level 10 and shit. You need a fucking healer. There we go. Now that's what we're gonna do! That's what we're gonna do! <laughs> ah. Yes, sir. I think, uh... I think that's a perfect way to end the matches for tonight. But, as well, we're gonna open a Magnus pack! Yay! Which I won't pay any real money for, but... Uh, so we're going to use all my in-game coins, but, uh, you know. On a good night of streaming, I can make, like, two grand. I mean, where, what did I start at? I started at... I'm at 19,862. Wow. I think I started at, um... Like, 16,8. Nice. All right, guys, we're going to open a Magnus pack. The last uh, time I did this, I got nothing. Here we go. Huh. Isn't that amazing how they force 19 grand or you can buy with real money <laughs> for this? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh look at a, a max a max rolled movement speed pair of boots with horns. The fuck out of here. All right, guys, that's gonna be the stream tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, until next time, guys. Cyclone signing off. <laughs>